Alright now, this is going to be the video review for the New York Comic Con 2011 exclusive mini mugs 5 pack set Maximum Carnage. Now this has to be one of the most awesome mini mug sets that I have ever seen. I mean, it's just fantastic and a lot of the work that makes you want to buy this set is the packaging. The packaging is just so amazing and so tastefully done. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's uh, obviously some type of skyscraper in um, New York. And you got Spider-Man hanging upside down right there. And then you got uh, Carnage in his window, Venom over there. And then you got Demo Goblin and you got JJ. Mini Mugs, New York Comic Con um, um, seal of approval. And then in the background is like a Spidey sense or Carnage looking comic booky uh, design and it's really really cool and great to look at. Um, it's a very tall package but it's very light so um, shipping it would be only because of the size of the box and not how heavy it is if you get the ship to you. Um, okay, to go to this side and you got the other half of Demo Goblin and Venom Spider-Man up there. Um, I love this box. It has multiple layers and then you got um, JJ on this side, Carnage on this side and the rest still pretty cool. Um, on the back it's really really nice because it's not bland on the back just showing the mugs like they usually do for um, mini mugs packaging. It has actually like newspaper clippings like this one is from the Daily Bugle saying Spider-Man defeats Carnage. Bugle um, begrudgingly gives credit. Okay so yep uh, JJ doesn't like to give Spider-Man any credit <laughs> for being a hero anyways. Next picture is Spider-Man of Spidey Sense and it looks all newspapery and stuff. Um, then you got Carnage over here and it says Carnage on the loose. Um, symbiote villain escapes spreading um, mayhem through the city. And I love how they got trademark and restricted <laughs> through all the names even in the bugle. Then you got uh, Frenemies. Venom and Webhead teams up versus Carnage. And then you got JJ right here, City in Chaos, editorial asks, where's the, the wall crawler? And you got New Menace joins Rampage, Carnage Family expands Reign of Terror. And you got Demo Goblin right there. And you got all the mugs featured in the set. And the logo made of 100% recycled awesome. And this box is awesome. And it's just, oh, I love it. And the Maximum Carnage logo right there. And then that's not all. Um, on the bottom is like generic stuff but from the top it looks really great too this is where the multiple layers come out on the top you got um, this is what mini mugs and mighty mugs do they show the face of whoever's in the box but on this side you get Carnage's face and this side there's Venom's face and go down another layer and there's Demo Goblin and go down another layer and there's uh, JJ <clears throat> so this packaging is fantastic and it's so beautiful I mean, you don't want to open it in fear of ruining it, and that's how I felt. But Mini Mugs and Hasbro is very, very collector friendly to their packaging, and they are able to open and put back in their box and still retain their beautiful shape. So um, let's do a comparison to the New York uh, Comic Con exclusive 2011 Maximum Carnage. To get these guys out of packaging, all you would have to do is to cut um, a, a slit of tape right there, slit of tape right there, slit of tape right there, and then uh, just open the flap from the bottom. Hold on, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. And then you see a lot of open space, but you grab uh, the two sides right there, and the entire assembly is just going to slide right out. You can kind of see it happening. Um, I'm going to set the camera down for just a moment. So I can use both hands. You see, it's all sliding right out. And that's how you get everybody out. Don't open it from any other side or else you might ruin your package. And here you got the mugs. And then this plastic tray comes out with this beautiful uh, display backing. Uh, and this part right here is hollow, so be careful. It may possibly rip off, but as long as you put it back in the box, um, you'll be okay. And when you put it back in the box, I will warn you that these two edges and these two edges get caught and you might want to 
shove it in there, but don't do that. What you gotta do is cut the tape right there and right there, cut the tape right here and right here, and just lift your fingers up and slide it on through, and it'll go in. Um, and the box is perfectly made, so even with this tape cut, um, it'll still retain its building shape and it won't fall down on you. All right, let's get to the mugs. All right, so here we have the five mugs and all their mini muggy glory. Oh man, the detail on these guys are just beautiful. I know I say that in all my mug reviews, but these guys are well worth the money. Um, by the way, I think I should mention that I picked these guys up off of the Hasbro toy shop. Uh, I did not attend New York Comic Con. Um, I got them for about 30 bucks plus shipping. Um, really, really great deal considering that um, a single packs for a mini mug costs seven to ten dollars and so you're getting five of these guys for thirty so that's like getting three and two free or something like that and amazing packaging so um, these guys as of this date of the recording are still available on Hasbro Toy Shop I don't know how many there are left so I say if you really want them go to Hasbro Toy Shop and buy them um, don't go to eBay just yet uh, unless you get a used one uh, for even cheaper than thirty which I highly doubt but anyways, let's get uh, to the review. Start off with Spider-Man. Um, this is a different Spider-Man than the Mighty Mug that came out. Um, I'm expecting him uh, shortly, and I'll review him um, when he arrives. But this Spider-Man, instead of blue, like bright blue, it has like a dark navy type of get-up. Um, but no webbing print, but I guess that's okay because it's a mini mug. A little fat spider on the back. It's really cool, and I see lines up here, so that probably means spider sense. But then again, maybe this might be a different suit. Um, of course, these are all characters integral to the award-winning comic series uh, Maximum Carnage, which I think was really cool um, idea for them to do. And I re I haven't read it, but I m I plan to. I plan to go with um, me and my buddy to our local comic shop and see if they have any still there and because we can't wait to read them and then it's all mini muggy and spider-man and stuff okay next uh... we got carnage oh man look at the detail on carnage and this is amazing for a mini mug oh, it's just excellent and look at the eyes and the smile he looks like he's just insane the red symbiotic growth of death <laughs> oh my god yeah, you gotta love this. Then uh, we got JJ. Oh man, JJ just looks fantastic. I mean, very accurate to the uh, comic, and if um, you really like the um, the uh, Sam Raimi uh, films, it looks a lot like uh, the JJ portrayed there with the. Uh, white and on the side and the mustache and I love the detail like the little white in the neck to look like he has the extra skin and then the shading in the face to look like mmm I want Spider-Man he's a menace yeah no, 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 no. and the tie and then the suit all the way around this jacket is different from the brown and he does have a uh, paint that makes him look like he has shoes it's brown here for pants and then black um, right there for shoes so really love the JJ character and then next we got um, Venom. Venom is pretty nice too. His eyes, just like Spider-Man and um, Carnage, are very, very glossy. Glossy white. And his tongue is right there. Very sharp looking teeth. Uh, head spins and arms move. And very nice spider design on here. And then Venom actually has a gimmick where if you twist his head 360... Now you have Eddie Brock um, emerging from the symbiote uh, with the blonde hair and, and the nose and Eddie Brock now has uh, fangs and it's really really cool and I guess you know since the symbol the spider symbol wraps all the way around you can just flip around the venom and the gimmick still works but I think it's more fun just to spin the head and then again there is an official way that the head is supposed to face since the Mighty Mugs uh, official logo it's supposed to be on the right foot of every mug, so that's how you can differentiate, I guess. But that's me being a nerd, I suppose. So yeah, I really love these characters. And finally, Demo Goblin. Um, I pretty much know nothing about Demo Goblin, so I hope 
uh, when I read the comic, it'll turn out all right. But Demo Goblin is really, really cool. Sh very sharp teeth. He looks pretty menacing. I'm, a, I'm assuming he's wearing a hood, and the tongue is actually going all the way through his hood, all the way around to the other side right there. And the head moves and stuff. Um, Demo Goblin has a cape, and I love the, the mini mugs capes. Um, I have lots of mini mugs from the Avengers. Actually, I have all the Avenger mini mugs so far, and I have three Thors, and Thors come with capes, and Loki has a cape, and I know uh, there's been a mini mug Darth Vader that's been released with a cape. But this cape is very unique, where uh, even though it does come off, that's cool. It's painted on both sides. On the inside, it's like molded in red, and on the outside, it's blue to match his cloak and stuff. And there's detail that goes all the way around. So the demo goblin is really cool, and then he has his belt, two belts right there. One's a black with a buckle, and one has three skulls on it. Uh, there we go. So all in all, I really, really do recommend these mugs. I mean, any Spider-Man fan is going to love them. Any fan of Maximum Carnage. If, even if you really just want one character out of the set, you won't be disappointed with just having the other characters, you know, just to have because they're all greatly detailed and it's just so much fun, especially with this box. The slam in the box, the slam outside, you won't be satisfied. You won't be dissatisfied. Final comparison, I have the... San Diego Comic Con 2011 Mini Mugs Exclusive 5 Pack, uh, which were based on the Avengers. Um, and I have to say, for box creativity, I think the New York Comic Con version wins, in my opinion. I mean, it's just so amazing how they incorporated not only for the uh, packages to look like a building, which is very appropriate for New York, and Spider Man is based in New York, but they got the. Um, the mini mugs, um, iconic facial tops um, going down, and the side art, and the art on the inside is just amazing. It's not just uh, the um, the art of little baby mini mugs, but they got the newspaper on the back. They have this funny tagline saying "Maximum Carnage," the minimum version. It's just really great. Whereas the Avengers, it's not bad, and they do have a, a good gimmick. How Giant Man is actually a mighty mug and doesn't really fit into scale with the mini mug size box, so he kind of explodes out. And I love how. Um, they have this dome to protect the paint on Giant Man's head, but that's pretty much all there is to this guy that makes it all that unique. Um, but they're still great to have. Um, if I was to say choose one of these two, I would say go for the Spider-Man pack. Um, simply because the Spider-Man pack really has no other mini mugs um, in the Spider-Man universe. Uh, that you can buy, whereas the Avengers, the, you got double packs and you got single packs that are out available now, so you'll just have multiples of the same character, whereas with the Spider-Man pack, these are all fresh characters in mini mug uh, format, especially JJ, who is completely new, Demo Goblin's completely new, and Carnage is completely new. Um, we do have a Venom before and Mighty Mug, but it's, it's, it's pretty much a different Venom, and so is the Spider-Man, it's a different suit. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, my thoughts on that. And also, I, I love how um, in the box, you really can't tell, unless uh, somebody told you before, that Venom has an alternate head um, when you spin it around to uh, show Eddie Brock. Um, nowhere on the box do you see Eddie's head. Nowhere does it reveal the spoiler. So, uh, if you're one of those people who like to open their toys, then at least you don't you know, regret it. There's like a special surprise for you, whereas if you kept it in the box, you just would never know. So, yep, there we have it, the uh, New York Comic Con exclusive 2011. Uh, I couldn't recommend it anymore. It is a great buy. Pick it up if you really want it. And see you later.